The idea was coffee by day, beer by night. If we can get people on the way to, to the uni to, to stop in for coffee, it'll subsidise the bills. My name's Sean, I'm the crazy person with my name on all the documents for this place. Um, it's been in my brain for long enough and been something that we've, I guess I'm the owner and, and mostly builder of. Takes a while. The whole, the whole idea is that regardless of your nerdism, it's a comfy space. But we're even getting a lot of locals, um, people who are just happy to have a, a local watering hole that's not Marisol, that's not got the pokies and the, and the footy on the wall. This is a bit different. Walking past Huntingdale to go to go to university and I just looked up and suddenly there was a new cafe. And being who I am, I just kept decided to come up and saw the games. So what kind of attracted you to it? Well, games! <laughs> so theoretically, by being open almost all day every day, we can we can make it financially viable and not have to overcharge people for beer. The goal is to make like a warm, friendly space that isn't overstaffed and sort of over pushed. We just want to be somewhere relaxed that doesn't cost us a fortune to run and people can just hang out. The theory of the jackals is that it's something that we can put a bunch of time and effort into making nice and then it's just really fast to prepare. So Again, we don't have to overstaff the sake of the kitchen, which means we don't have to charge too much for stuff. So for five bucks, you can have something that's taken seven hours to cook. So originally, the, the concept was to shove it in the back of an industrial estate somewhere and sort of spread the word and try and get people to come to us so the rent would be next to nothing. So it wouldn't be that hard to pay the bills in theory. Um, but the numbers never really added up. The goal is to never have to boot people out where possible because I want people to be able to sort of come and sit, chill out on their laptops and that was always going to have to be part of that business model. So when we were doing the maths it wasn't going to be the same as a lot of cafes where you're getting people in, booting them out, getting the next people in. So the maths were always a bit on the, the shy side I guess but the fact that we missed O Week means that everybody kind of got entrenched in routine. So. Uh, where I thought coffee would pick up a lot faster than it has, um, we've stood out the front a couple of times sort of handing people coffees and, and they'll actually look up off their phones and go, oh, this isn't a tool shop anymore. So a lot of people still don't know we're here, still don't know what we do, and that's going to be a case of just sort of slowly pushing that and spreading the word. We'll probably put a big final sign out the front somewhere that'll be a bit more gaudy than our current signage. Um, Beta Bar is not what I wanted to build. Um, but it was, it was a good chunk of what I wanted to build. Bartronica was another big inspiration for me because they did a nice job of building a bar. And the bar side of what they'd done was awesome. So between those two, if they kind of mushed it together, they would have kind of what I wished existed. As any new business, everything is tight, obviously. Um, I'm no longer working 92 hour weeks, quite. So that's, that's a plus. So much of this has been dependent on friends and family just putting in hours and, and doing doing so much for me and, and the people that have just sort of come out of the woodwork that you wouldn't necessarily have expected to be amazing.